Try this actually, that works. I forgot you could do that with Lamina. Use stabs to attack. Please die in this hit! Dang it. Die in this po sword, please. Dodge this! Good thing I planned ahead. He's still alive. Lamina still has her protect? I'm hoping that we'll get us through. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Oh, this move again. Okay. Um, it's still not over? I don't think. Probably still make this work. And this is a lot harder than I remember it being. But it's not really like as bad as the last two. You're gonna, you're gonna probably, don't kill, you're gonna kill here, aren't you? Yep. I knew this would come in handy. Man, if only Lamina wasn't so slow. Maybe this would be possible. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... Oh, Gina's fast. <laughs> Hang on. Never mind. I was gonna use a life jewel, but I'm not going to. So this ice staff is terrible. I thought it'd be better. I have no better staff. Rip that. I dare use another starlight. I don't want to, but I might have to. Because only hero has MP. I think I'm going to. I'll do it on Jean instead of Lamina. All right, there. All right, he's using a turn for that. I have to kill him quick. If I don't kill him quick, I'm done. Then I actually will lose. Actually, using it on Lamina would have been smart because of White Dragon Protect. What am I thinking? Jean was not the right one to use it on. Lamina has to protect, so I should have done it on her, but whatever, it's fine. I do not remember this fight being this difficult. It's definitely not bad, though. I don't mind it. I will say that one time he, like, one-shot everybody really did scare me. Okay. Let's do another Divine Lightning. We're going all out. I want to win this. I, I, you could buy Starlights. I think I'm going to do this. I don't want to have to do this again. He has a lot of- Oh, he's dead! Oh, that's good, though. I don't think the starlight procked. Whew, that was a fight. That was quite a fight. That was intense. Quite a fight, indeed. Definitely better than the last two. I enjoyed that a lot more than I did the uh, other two dragons, the prior two dragons. Just chug it at the crystal. But this is exactly what I predicted. So that dragon cave took one hour. It took one hour to do the dragon cave and the dragon boss. Like the whole dragon cave, I assumed it would take like an hour, give or take. So we're like almost two hours. We're like not even two hours in the stream, which is perfect. Exactly what I thought we'd be at time. Huh? Nothing's happening. Are you sure you're the red dragon, Ruby? Maybe you're just a flirt, flying furball after all. Totally. Yeah, she lied to us, which who could have ever predicted? No, I'm the Red Dragon. I am. Whoa. The power of the Red Dragon's been unleashed, but Ruby has now absorbed it. 
hope she does not take control of it soon. We will be engulfed in its wake. Perhaps you should have mentioned that little detail a lot sooner, Lucia. What do we do? Grow up, Ruby, and I mean that literally. Hurry! I'm trying, but I can't. I, I don't want to grow up, hero. I don't want eternal life. I want to be with you forever. Oh, grow up. Just, just get over it. I don't want to be alone. You are... You are literally, like, not even a waifu. Like, there are... There's Jean... As if Jean is not enough competition. There is Jean, Lucia, and Lamina to compete with. Ruby. I hate this cat. Don't you understand? It's up to you to decide whether you'll be alone or not. What do you mean? Did you hear Null? Every day we spend together, we're making more memories. And those memories will always brighten your heart and take away your fear. You've lived up with you lived with me since I was a little boy, here, Ruby. I, I almost said hero. And you got plenty of time with our new friends. Your heart must be bursting with memories by now, Ruby. And as long as you have those memories, we'll always be together. Oh, our hearts are connected. You'll never be alone. I always, I always pretend not to hear the voice inside me. The voice that kept asking when I was going to grow up. I knew that I would have to become an adult to protect our world. But I didn't want to lose my friends. So I ignored that voice no matter how loud it spoke. And now I know that I won't lose you. I won't be alone. I'll always be with all of you. Whether it's me in the real world or in my heart. Whether it's in the real world or in my heart. I won't ignore that voice anymore. I'll let it tell me what I need to do. Ever since I can remember, I dreamt of the day that I would claim my birthright and become a full-fledged dragon. Now that the dragon aura is released, and I stand ready to claim that prize, Zophar tightens his merciless grasp. My only hope is that I will be strong enough to make a difference, and maybe even save our world. Dragon aura, I stand ready. Embrace me with the power to complete my destiny. I'm all grown up. Whoa, I never knew you had it in you, Red. You're the cutest dragon I've ever seen. Please don't say that. I am, aren't I? No, she's back! I still like this form the best, though. It feels more comfortable on me, I guess. Ugh! Ugh! Just when I thought we got rid of you. In my adult form, I can't sit on Hero's shoulder. Oh my goodness. Let's go, you guys. All of you... All of the dragon powers should be restored now. I'm glad that Null decided to show up when he did. I guess he thinks of you as more than a friend, Ruby. Yes! Exactly! You and Null should hook up and you could leave Hero alone. What? You're talking crazy, Hero. Null and I are nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. Null's just- he's just trying to make amends for being a jerk when he- when we first met him. Haha, <laughs> you might be all grown up, Ruby, but you're still an awful liar. Let's get going. Now that all the dragons are revived, I'm ready for a happy ending. You... You guys really think it's the ending. Wow. I mean, it's right. Let's head for the Holy City and save Althena from her prison. I can sense that Zophar is on the verge of a resurrection. We must hurry. There's still a third disc. Well, that was... Who cares? Because I don't like Ruby. What a heartfelt moment. Disgusting. Yeah, if I cared about Ruby, that would have been a lot better. If Ruby was a character I was actually, like, invested in and cared about. If I didn't hate her, basically, because I hate her guts. Oh, now that can't be good. What the heck's going on? It's not a magic spell, but it's very powerful. I know what it is, Lumina. It's Zophar. Those are going to be an FMV I have to hire the volume for. Oh, hey, it's Gwyn. We haven't seen Gwyn since the beginning of the game. This is no ordinary storm. That thunder is def deafening and those clouds are angry. This must have been what Lucia was talking about. The revival has begun.
I guess they're gonna show multiple areas. Oh, there's the destiny. Man, Zofar is really quiet. I don't know why. At least there's subtitles, though. Master Zofar has spoken, but Lucius still approaches. Oh, it's you, Galleon. Where have you been, and what have you been doing? We have a dire situation. You surely know that Lucia is coming to the Holy City. She's in great danger. Master Zofar is paying her no mind, but we cannot leave this be. For I am Althena, the goddess of this world. My mission is to protect the holy city and to wield the power of the corpse. Alas, the corpse has not been able to stop Lucia. But you, I understand. Of course you do, Galleon. You were brought back to life by the master. And now you must repay for him for the life he breathed, breathed back into your bones. I don't know why it's so hard to say the word breathe, E.D. Galleon. Is he always such an impertinent man in his previous life? Oh, you, you clearly didn't play Silver Star Story and you should have. No matter now, he will stop Lucia and all my wishes will finally come true. No longer will there be any need for sacrifice. Eternal beauty will be mine. The world will be mine. And who cares about the fake goddess? I certainly don't. The dark god is almost upon this world. I did not expect the beginning of his revival to quite so soon. And I expect to need several changes. I expect to need several changes of underwear before this is over. What? Ramfar, you're great, but sometimes when you toss it a line, I want to die. No time for jokes, Ramfar. Let's hurry to Pentagoonla and rescue Althena. Cool, cool, cool. Up, up, up. Where am I going? Where's the goddess cow even located? Oh, just Pentagula, but like... Yo! Everything's so dark now. Actually, wait, I do want to go to shops though, because this is probably like our last chance to buy stuff. We gotta make sure. Yeah, I play Cold Steel. I know how Coors is pronounced. Coors. Cold Steel had the Jaeger cores, which was the same spelling. Where was the shop here? Here. I'm just blind, apparently. Up Beauty magic, agility. Give me some of these. I'm gonna buy this, actually. Bum, 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 bum. Ba bum. We should probably talk to NPCs, actually. I haven't been able to sleep lately because of the weird dreams I keep having. I think Mari's cleansing may have damaged me permanently. Know what? Huh? There was a beautiful lady that came to that house. Yep, she was a total babe, and she went and touched in that house right over there. Her name's Mari. Watch your roving... Aye, kiddo, it'll get you in trouble. Gene, don't scare the boy. I've got a mighty fine roving eye and look at me. Exactly my point. Look at you. We don't have we don't want that kid to turn out like that. 
Want to see my new superhero underwear? Not if you got them on. I do, but it's no big deal. Let me show you. Great, the kid's an exhibition exhibitionist. Just what this town needs. That was something I don't want to bring up ever again. Truly's a perfect location. North, we got the Seric Palace. Across the sea is Pentagulia. Say you look like my grand- Oh, this- this we saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His- his grandfather doesn't remember him. I guess his dialogue wouldn't change. I've dedicated my life to finding a way to cure people of the disease. We must find ways to cure the sickness without relying solely on the Aura Stone. <laughs> what was that head tilt? I wasn't sick, but my sister made me drink a red potion at the palace. After that, it's all kind of blank. Hey, Mari. Grandpa, I knew you would one day come to rescue me from that dark place. Each day seemed an eternity as I forced- I was, I was forced to do terrible things. Believe me when they say that Zophar's power is beyond all description. He can control minds. We must find a way to defeat him, Mari. If he's allowed to continue, he'll destroy us all. So glad the cleansing ritual has stopped. I knew there was something wrong with all, all along, but no one would listen. Alright, there's not really much as an NPC dialogue as I thought there'd be. Now, where is Pentagulia? It's somewhere in the sea. Oh, I did want to go get Starlets. I probably should... Probably should go back and buy items. That's why I wanted to do look for Starlets. I don't know what town would have them, though. Look, Lucia, I can see the port of Pentagulia. We must now gather the power of the dragons to destroy the seal and rescue the goddess. With that, my mission will be accomplished and the rest will be entrusted to Althena. Even if... Lucia? Danger! <laughs> Incoming zombie at 6 o'clock! My, my, my. You've been busy, little beavers, haven't you? Beavers? Galleon! <gasps> what are you doing here? Zophar's restoration is not quite complete, and you've been making faster progress than we expected. Progress? Therefore, it's my job to create a little crisis. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say progress like that. Also, little beavers, that does not sound like something Galleon would say. Do we find Galleon now? I don't think we do. Why are you here, Galleon? Are you trying to stop us? You're not as ignorant as you look, hero. I'm afraid I simply cannot allow you and your friends to enter the holy city. You're as stupid as you look, Galleon. Last time you got lucky. This time we'll beat you. Wait, hero. Was there gonna be an FMV? No, there's not. I know you're playing, Galleon. You will join with Zelfar to destroy our world. Me? Destroy the world? Oh dear, that sounds so barbaric. Mmm, I love it. But please don't confuse my intentions, sweet child. I will indeed destroy this world and send it into chaos. But then, with Zelfar, I will recreate the world in the form it was always meant to have. Lunar will be reborn as a flawless gem, without the impurities of the goddess. And without you! Lucia! Help my eyes. Oh, she's got her outfit back. I will not rest until I've accomplished my mission. And now that I've removed the seals of the four dragons, you cannot stop me. So you think Lucia, but you, so you think Lucia, but you are so wrong. You will disappear along with the dragon ship destiny. No. Sweet Lucia of the Blue Star, your actions surprise me. You chose to pr you choose to protect Hero and his friends, mere humans. Dear Lucia, this is quite a change in your way of thinking. Never expected you to be so quite so amusing, dear child. 
And so I have decided to spare the lives of you and your friends for now. I expect all of you to keep me delightfully entertained until our next encounter. <laughs>